Yo, what's going on everybody? In this video, I am going to be going over for loops and how to um, use them along with getting children. Now, I know that might sound kind of weird in a way. I mean, of course it does if you don't understand uh, what it actually means. <clears throat> but from an exploiting scripting perspective, um, it is a very, very useful, I guess, feature function. I, I'm not really sure what to, what to classify it as, but it is very, very important. And nine times out of ten, anytime you see get children, it's usually paired with a for loop of some kind because you need a for loop to kind of iterate through that data and uh, proceed with whatever kind of um, event or whatever you're going to go with. Um, so I'm going to start off and I'm going to make a box TP. And I'm going to create a local variable called local boxes equals game dot workspace dot boxes. Then we're going to go ahead and use a colon, get children. Now keep in mind, um, your spelling is everything. It needs to be exactly how it is, capital G, capital C, and especially when you are you know, uh, referencing it from the workspace or the game in general. So what get children does is it gets everything from an instance. So if I would have done, uh, you know, game dot workspace get children, it would have gotten everything inside of the workspace. But since I did it for boxes, it is going to get all of these boxes inside of the workspace. Okay. So now that we have that, we are going to do a for loop. So I'm gonna do for underscore comma v in pairs boxes do. I'm gonna go ahead and end it off here. Okay. And then just so we could see what's going on, this should print all of these boxes. Okay, so let's see if it does that or not. Yep, so we got shadow, research, present research. That's exactly what we have in this folder. Okay, so now that you guys see what um, get children does and what for loops are, we can kind of go ahead and do whatever we want with that you know I mean this is this is personally what broke ground for me in my scripting um, I don't want to say career it's not a career I guess hobby was this right here this is this was the bread and butter what got me really like into scripting because this is like the third thing I learned surprisingly enough and it is by far the most helpful when you're getting into exploiting because you can make you know, auto collect, you know, auto kill. <clears throat> because before I didn't know how to, you know, like, you know, teleport to things or what, like, I, you would have to go through and find the each individual name and then the C frame or whatever. But this makes it so much easier, especially for a beginner. Okay, so now we're actually going to make something out of this little, little script. Um, I did this off screen. Uh, I forgot I wasn't recording, but. I just made a local variable and set it to uh, my local player's name. And so we're going to make a simple little teleport to teleport to each one of these boxes and pick them up. So um, I already have my local variable here. You guys can copy this if you're um, coding along with me. But okay, so I'm going to do game.workspace. And I think the path is just straight from workspace to the player model which I'm correct. So, and then I'm going to do player dot humanoid root part dot C frame equals C frame dot new. And then we're going to go ahead and get the, um, the box position because that's what we're going to be teleporting our humanoid root part to. So it would be V dot would it just be v dot position because we're teleporting to the position of it so we would do v dot position and they should just teleport us to the first box and it did exactly that so th i mean that's basically it guys um i hope you learned something from this video 
Uh, if you have any questions, you know, any future video ideas you would like me to kind of teach you guys, just let me know down in the comments. So yeah, peace.